Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will present our paper, Label Inference Attacks Against the Vertical Fabric Learning. We have entered the big data era, where our private information may be gathered and analyzed by companies and organizations to train machine learning models. However, it would be a severe problem if the gathered data gets leaked. In recent years, there have been many cases of data leakages. The leaked data includes health records, social information, and property information. To protect user privacy, more and more countries or states publish laws and regulations to restrict the collection and use of user data. Companies are not allowed to share the collected user data with other companies for commercial use, which causes the dilemma of isolated data. For example, two hospitals have health records of two groups of patients. If they combine these health records into a larger data set, they can train a better machine learning model for disease diagnosis. However, they are forbidden to exchange users' private data. Thus, user data is isolated in different companies. Federated learning is proposed to solve this dilemma, which allows multiple participants to collaboratively train a machine learning model without revealing their local data. Federated learning can be categorized into the horizontal federated learning, also known as HFL, and the vertical federated learning also known as VFL. For the HFL, datasets share the same feature space but differ in the sample space. On the contrary, VFL is for the scenario where datasets share the same sample space but differ in the feature space. Federated learning is being widely used, and many IT companies have developed their federated learning systems. Nevertheless, federated learning has vulnerabilities. Many existing works have explored the security and privacy risks of HFL, but the privacy risks of VFL remain unexplored. In this paper, we demonstrate that a curious participant in VFL can infer the private labels, and we propose three kinds of label inference attacks. This is the illustration of label inference attacks against the VFL. Let's consider the VFL framework with split learning. In this kind of VFL framework, the original neural network model is split into one top model, which runs on the server, and several bottom models that run at participants. Every participant holds a part of features and encodes their local features by their bottom models. One participant is the leader and controls the server. For example, participant B in this figure. The labels are privately owned by this participant. One of the participants without labels is the adversary, whose goal is to infer the privately owned labels. In the following, we introduce three kinds of label inference attacks against the VFL. The first one is the passive label inference attack. Our intuition is that when the VFL finishes training, the adversary can exploit its local trained bottom model to infer labels. The trained bottom model cannot classify samples as it does not have a classification layer. Thus, the adversary first adds a classification layer to the bottom model. Then assuming that the adversary has a small set of labeled samples, this adversary can fine-tune the additional classification layer using semi-supervised learning techniques. Once the completed local model is fine-tuned, the adversary can use it to infer labels of other unlabeled local data. The second attack type is the active label inference attack. The intuition is that the adversary can accelerate the local model's learning rate during the training stage. With the purpose of increasing the expressiveness of the bottom model, then the adversary performs the passive label inference attack using the better trained bottom model. The local acceleration is designed with momentum. 
Adaptively adjust the learning rate, scaling factor, as shown in the algorithm. The scaled gradient is further clipped to ensure that the gradient value cannot be too large. The third attack type is the direct label inference attack. This attack is specially designed for the VFL without split learning. In this framework, during the forward propagation, the server sums up the outputs of all the bottom models to get the final output instead of running a top model. Like the VFL with split learning, every participant holds partial features, and one leader participant owns labels and controls the server. One of the participants without labels is the adversary, whose goal is to infer the privately owned labels. For the VFL framework without model splitting, the adversary can receive the gradient of the final prediction layer, which enables the adversary to compute the labels of training samples directly. Specifically, during the backward propagation, the signs of the gradients received from the server indicates the labels of the training samples. More details can be found in our paper. We choose six datasets to evaluate our proposed label inference attacks. We consider various data types, including images, texts, numerical features, and categorical features. The attacks are evaluated on various model architectures, such as ResNight, BERT, and fully connected neural networks. The VFL using these models get good performance on original tasks. The experiment results show that the adversary can get good inference performance by conducting the passive label inference attack, and the inference performance can be further improved with the active label inference attack. As for the direct label inference attack, it always gets 100% inference accuracy because it is based on pure mathematical derivation. We also conduct some sensitivity evaluations. Our passive label inference attack requires the adversary to have a set of auxiliary labeled data, so we want to know how the amount of auxiliary labeled data influences the inference performance. This experiment results show that more auxiliary labeled data indeed increases the inference accuracy. However, if the amount of auxiliary labeled data grows, the inference performance increases more and more slowly. Thus, the adversary tends to choose a small set of auxiliary data. Another insight is that the trained bottom model contains much information for label inference. In this table, direct semi means directly training a bottom model from scratch using the auxiliary data rather than train the bottom model. We can see that the average performance becomes much worse without the trained bottom model from VFL. There are more findings in our paper. Please see the paper for more details. In this section, we analyze why the active label inference attack works. With the grid cam visualization, we can find that the active attack successfully makes the VFL framework draw more attention to the adversary's data. And the TSNE projection of the outputs of the adversary's bottom model shows that under the active attack, the adversary's bottom model learns better intermediate representations, which benefits the label inference attacks. In this section, we discuss and evaluate some possible defenses. During the training of VFL, the only information sent to the adversary is the gradients from the server. So, defense strategies can be applied to the gradients to prevent information leakage from the server to the adversary, such as pruning small-scale gradients, adding noise, and the gradient discretization. Unfortunately, these defenses are proven to be not so effective against the proposed label inference attacks. In particular, these defenses have the trade-off between the performance of the original task and the defense performance against the label inference attacks. As for the direct label inference attack, we find 
the noisy gradients and the privacy preserving deep learning can successfully mitigate the labor leakage and maintain a good performance on the original task. To sum up, we reviewed a new label leakage issue of VFL and present three label inference attacks that can achieve good attack performance. We also share insights about these attacks with visualized proofs. Finally, existing defenses are not effective against the passive and active label inference attacks, which motivates future work on better defenses for VFL. If you have any further problems, don't hesitate to get in touch with me using this email address.